Boy, if you haven't had enough from the recruiting and transfer portal news from Auburn basketball, I got one more thing for you. A brand new assistant head coach is on the team. Let's talk about who that is, what it means for Bruce Pearl and the Auburn Tigers. War Eagle, and welcome back to the channel. My name's Kyle here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. As you're watching or listening today, be sure to drop a comment about this particular topic. It'll help enter you into our ongoing subscriber giveaway for a signed Auburn football prize package. Details are listed in the description link. We always want to thank members of our booster club, like Ann W., who help produce videos like this. It feels like we've been waiting for this news for quite some time. There's been a spot open on the coaching staff and now it has been filled by Bruce Pearl. Coming to us by way of Texas Tech, assistant coach Corey Williams joins Bruce Pearl, his staff, and is bringing a wealth of knowledge and talent to the Auburn Tigers. It's gonna be excited to get into some of the things that you need to know. I've got 10 things trying to narrow it down of all the things that you possibly need to know about this guy. Number one, let's talk about who he's replacing first. And most of you know this, Wes Flanagan, who's been with Bruce Pearl since the 2018 and 19 season. He's an alumni of Auburn, and it kind of felt like he would stay around for quite some time. But obviously, you got to remember that he's been here with his son, Alan Flanagan, who still, as of this video, is trying to make his decision on what he's going to do for a final year of eligibility. So Wes Flanagan has already made his decision reportedly leaving the team, obviously, because we have a new coach here to go be at Ole Miss with Chris Beard's new staff there. I haven't found an official confirmation of that right now as of doing this video but supposedly it's true. So for number two, we're talking about his coaching experience. How long has he been doing this? 23 total years that he has been in the coaching ranks. Now, one of those also is not included in this when he was a student assistant, but he has been a lot of places and done a variety of things that we're gonna break down throughout this video in the 23 years of coaching experience and more. And number three, let's break down that coaching experience and talk about where he's been. We mentioned he was a student assistant and that was at his alma mater, of Oklahoma State for the 93-94 season. Now there's a big gap in his coaching experience because he was doing a few other things we'll mention in a second, but he started back up in 2000 to 07 as an assistant coach at Oral Roberts, then 07 to 13 as an assistant coach at Florida State, 13 to 19 as a head coach at Stetson, and then follow that up by going in 2019 to 21 as an assistant coach at Arkansas. And finally, in his last couple seasons, has been at Texas Tech until he obviously arrived on the Plains. Number four is the type of experience he has in conferences. Yes, you saw in that breakdown, SEC, ACC, and Big 12 Conference. Each one of those is a good basketball conference. And you already have experienced the SEC where you're now arriving being part of the Auburn Tigers team. Throw in some mid-major experience there too. You can see how well-rounded he is. Number five, let's dive into his playing experience that he might be able to draw upon. We already mentioned that he went to Oklahoma State and played his ball there from 89 to 92. And here's the interesting thing. From 92 to 93, that season played for the championship Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan and all of those guys. You can see right there, that qualifies him to be our assistant head coach. You can see from this list that he spent time over in something called the CBA with teams with Oklahoma City, Grand Rapids, but he also spent time in a professional league in Taiwan. So not only does he have professional experience here in the States, but also internationally, which is gonna be huge for helping these kids develop. Number six, what were his coaching influences? Well, we already mentioned that he played for a championship Chicago Bulls team. So you can imagine his royal airness probably had an influence on him, but of course the head coach, Phil Jackson, also of the Lakers, that says enough right there. But at the college level, Eddie Sutton of Oklahoma State, who's a legendary coach, Bill Self, and of course, maybe it pains us to mention it, but he's obviously spent some time with Eric Musselman, currently of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Number seven, what are his regional ties as it pertains to recruiting especially? Well, he's a guy that's a native of Macon, Georgia, not too far from Auburn, Alabama. Also spent time out in Oklahoma, so he's got those connections too. But as we've already mentioned before, played professionally, even internationally, and you can imagine what that's gonna do. A good guy to have part of your staff with those connections. Number eight, what are some statistics we can point to with his time as an assistant coach, but also as a head coach? 23 years to look through here, so we'll dive into a few important ones, starting with his time at Arkansas, which he was part of a revamp there with Eric Musselman, a two-season revamp that saw them go 45 and 19 and make the Elite Eight in 2021. Now, when he was the head coach at Stetson, he had players there break records for all-time scoring, 
assists, and three-pointers, and they even made the Atlantic Sun Finals in 2016. And that's just the surface of what he's accomplished. Number nine, who are some players that we can look to in terms of maybe some examples of who he's developed? We talked about some of those records that were broken back at Stetson, Divine Miles, Angel Rivera, and Luke Doyle. Those were the guys that broke those records, so go check them out. But I'll point you not to specifics, but just look at some of those players that have come into Arkansas over the last few seasons. And remember, he had a hand in a lot of those really up to that 2021 point. And number 10, just a fun weird fact that we found on Auburn's website and some other places. Apparently, he was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs in the 1992 NFL Draft. So not only was he a good basketball player, but obviously had some skills in football too. I don't know how to translate out into the basketball court, but it can't hurt. So those are the 10 things that you need to know about our new assistant coach, Corey Williams, joining Bruce Pearl and Auburn's men's basketball. Would love to know your thoughts about this news down in the comments section below and anything that we missed on talking about here. Make sure you're subscribed to be part of that giveaway. And as always, check out the links in the description for ways that you can help support us here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. War Eagle.